All right. I think we're live. If, Yay. You are, if you see us live, give us a little shout out, send us a heart or a thumbs up so that we know that you see us and hear us and welcome to this week's live um, rhythm radio, where we look to create a brand new rhythm in your body in your day in your business in your life. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little anxious right now and a lot of stressful energy in the air this week. So what I thought we would do today is do some tapping. If you're feeling anxious, we're gonna be doing some tapping for peace. So I'm excited to welcome my friend, my colleague, my fellow essential oil educator, Marion Edwardson. Thanks, Marion. Thanks, Thanks, for Thanks Kristen. On. This and is such perfect timing. It is, it is. So um, tapping is such a great tool when we're feeling stress. Can, and if someone is not familiar with tapping or has never tried it before, can you kick us off today just by sharing a little bit about what tapping is and why it helps? For sure. Um, it helps with anything and everything. And what tapping is, so you've heard of tapping or EFT, which stands for emotional freedom technique. And it's tapping on certain meridian points of the body um, that Gary Craig kind of put the short version together um, after Roger Callahan many, many years ago did way more points, you know, and what body systems they addressed and that was just too sophisticated for so many people but what it still drew from is thousands of years of Chinese acupressure wisdom mm -hmm. and combining that with modern psychology because we know that we can create new neural tech you know new neural pathways mm -hmm. and that we can release and we've seen that Chris and I have seen that um, after the tragedy in Newtown, um, you know, how it helped people really put that in a place in the back of your mind where you don't have to relive it every day. Um, and what's beautiful about tapping, you know, we've been through days, weeks, months of what stress, anxiety, judgment, name calling, you know, all of those things that, you know, we haven't been able to avoid watching. And the thing I love the most about tapping is it's an acknowledgement about what we're feeling. And you know that what we don't release, right? What we resist persists. Right. And so that we can use tapping with no judgment to try to get to a better place. And so there's really two parts to, should we get right into a, sure. know, a, a sure. session? So that's really what tapping is. And it's so simple you can do it at home and it's so beautiful because you can release all kinds of things you can release it around weight loss and anxiety and pain and um you know trying to work with difficult teenagers i mean whatever it is right so i love the no judgment part yeah what Kristen started with today was a lot of us have been feeling very anxious and stressful so there's two parts to tapping. It's the, the release of emotions. That's, you know, it's freedom from our emotions. It's emotional freedom technique, which I love. Mm. And then the other part of that is what do we want to get to? Right. Once we can have the ability to release that. So the first thing is that we identify the emotion. So we've got it. Ang anxiousness, feeling anxious and stressful. And the second part of that is let's everybody take a breath. A couple of deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And notice what you notice in your body. You know, where are you feeling those anxious feelings or stress? And you know, you don't have to say it out loud. You can write it down. Just remember that. And then we want to put an intensity level to that. So on a scale of zero to 10, 
10 being, I am so anxious and stressed out that I really don't know what to do with this. Um, it's, uh, you know, and, and, you know, our goal is to get that down to take the charge out of that emotion and get that down to, you know, two or one or just release it. Um, and what might help, and I always start out with an oil. Kristen knows this because Kristen does this too. And so when I looked up in our emotions book, which is, um, I don't know if you have that nearby to hold that up, Kristen, but um, our essential emotions book is really what I grew up on in terms of dealing with emotions. And adaptive is a new recently released oil, um, which has uh, such beautiful stuff in it. It has um, lavender and it has copaiba and it has, um, it has spearmint, which is the oil of confident speech and um, just beautiful neroli and magnolia. Um, some of the florals, you know, can kind of reverse that feeling. And it's the oil of adaptability. So it helps to assist with anxious states. And I won't go into, you know, the details of that, but it's, it's perfect. So I have the 15 mil bottle. So you can put that on your wrist. The great thing is to diffuse it. I diffuse it going to bed every night. Mm -hmm. And the roller bottle is a 10 mil roller bottle that's diluted with some um, fractionated coconut oil. So you can put some, you know, behind your ear or on your spine or bottoms of your feet, whatever, you know, and just kind of feel that lift of, you know, right now we want to be able to have an outlet to adapt to what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. So we know where we feel that in our body. We gave it an intensity rating. And again, we don't have to say that out loud and just kind of write that down so that you remember that. And then we create a setup statement. And what the setup statement, you know, think about that infinity circle, you know, that yin and yang, we know it's not a perfect world. So when we're dealing with the stress and the anxiety and where we want to get that to, we, we can't deny that but we can work on that and we can release that. So the first part is acknowledging what we feel. So we start with, and let's start tapping on, we call it the karate chop point or we call it on the, on the crease right there, our first gamut point. So even though, even though I feel, I have these feelings, this anxious feelings and stressful feelings, and then we can, you know, we. We'll keep tapping as I explain the other side. So the other side of the setup statement is kind of where we want to get to. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And if that statement feels true to you, and what's beautiful about tapping is that we can use our own words. So some people might feel so bad, they can't even say that right now. They feel so stressed out, but they might say, you know what, it is what it is right now. So you can say that if, if that feels authentic to you, um, you know, but we want to get to that place of self-love. You know, I know Kristen talks so much about that place. So even though, and we say our setup statement three times, even though I have all these anxious feelings and stressful feelings, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though there's so much stress out there, I have so much anxiety, I deeply, completely in love and love accept myself. Even though there's so much stress and anxiety out in the world right there, it's not just me. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then we're gonna do the different points which I'll show you. We start with the top of the head. And you can just repeat one phrase so we don't have to make it difficult. I feel so anxious. And you can use one hand, you can use two hands on your eyebrow point. So just on the inside of your eyebrow on that bone. One thing I learned recently, and those of you who are familiar with any energy work about energy crossover. So if you use one hand to go to the other side, then you're crossing over some energy and that might help, that might give you a different feeling of release. So I'm so stressed out right now. And then side of the eye, that soft spot next to the side of your eye. 
I just feel so stressed and anxious right now. And then under the eye, so stressed. So much anxiety in the world right now. Then under the nose, I have so much anxiety. You know, it's at a, whatever your number is, it's at an eight. And wow, is it in my shoulders or wherever you feel that in your body? Just be aware of that. And then your chin point, that soft spot under the lips. So much anxiety. The next point is your collarbone point, which is under the bone in that tender area. We probably need a lot of that right now. So we, and you can stay there as long as you need to. And you might feel release, you know, just you're the driver of this. And then under the arm, you can do both sides, one side, it's about four inches under your armpit. For women, it's that kind of bra line point. So much anxiety. And then you want to do the top of your hand. That's a new point we use. Um, some of us haven't used that one. Just so much anxiety. Now let's do another round because that's not going to get rid of it all. So much anxiety. So much anxiety. I need a double dose, so I'm using both hands. So much anxiety, side of the eye. Just I can't release it. There's no resolution right now. It might take days. Under the nose, so much anxiety. And under the lips. Don't really quite know where this world is going yet. And then collarbone point. I still feel so much stress and anxiety. And under the arm. So much anxiety. And then top of the hand right here. So much anxiety. Okay, so we did two rounds. Let's take a deep breath. And just notice what you notice. What do you feel in your body? Think about that intensity rating that we started out with. Did that come down? A little calmer. Calmer. That's, you know, some people, it could go up still and we just keep doing a few more rounds, but hopefully it's something kind of loosened up physically that you felt a little calmer. And, you know, for the sake of time, you know, we could do this for an hour. A lot of EFT sessions can go for an hour because we want to collapse that intensity rating. But if I could ask you, Kristen, where, what did your number go to? Uh, I would say it came down a uh, two notches. <laughs> Okay, but that's significant. And we could do another round. Yeah. Um, but what, what we want to do in this course of time, um, what is significant is that we can also tap in, we can still tap on the side of our hand. We can tap in some peace. Let's tap in some peace. Let's tap in some peace. So if you have your bottle of peace, I just, I'm diffusing that right now. Let's put a little peace. You know what, let's, you can put some on the top of your head. You can put some over your heart, diffuse it, breathe in a couple of breaths of peace. Because we know that our olfactory system is so powerful and this can go right to our limbic system and start to bring in, that's what's so beautiful about the emotional aromatherapy oils, bring in a little peace. And so let's keep tapping. Let's go back to our setup statement. Even though I have all this anxiety and my dog is gonna choose to bark right now, um, <laughs> I choose peace right now I in this moment. Right now in this moment. Even though, Even though I feel all this stress. I feel all this stress. And I actually feel a little less stressed because of the last two rounds that I did. 
I choose peace right now. Peace right now. And even though, even though I don't always have control over what's going on and it feels a little stressful right now. It feels a little stressful. In this moment, I choose peace. I choose peace. So let's go to the top of the head. I choose peace. I choose peace. In the eyebrow point, I am open to being peaceful right now. I'm open to being peaceful right now. Mm -hmm. Side of the eye. I choose to be peaceful right now. I choose to be peaceful right now. And under the eye, peaceful. Peaceful. Make sure you breathe. Peaceful. Peaceful. Under the mouth. Peaceful. Peaceful. Collarbone point. Peaceful. Peaceful. Under the arm. Peaceful. Gamut point right here on top of the hand, peaceful. Peaceful. Let's do one more quick round of that because that was so beautiful. Top of the head. That was good. I choose peace right now. I choose peace right now. Eyebrow point, peaceful. Peaceful. Side of the eye, peaceful. Peaceful. Under the eye. I choose peace. I choose peace. Under the nose. Peace. Peace. Under the mouth. Peace. Peace. Collarbone point. Peace. Peace. Under the arm. Peace. And top of the hand, peace. peace. Take a deep breath. Take a whiff of that peace. You can choose an oil and know that you can do some tapping and get to that place if you need that moment. So then I just still want you to notice what you notice. How did your body feel? Where did that intensity rating go to? And that's a reading on the fact that we can release. Mm. Yeah. And, and we can just do this on our own for as much as we need to all throughout the day. And that's, <sighs> that's tapping. Beautiful. <sighs> I would love to hear from those of you who are watching, whether you're watching live or you catch the replay or you see this later on YouTube, if you share with us in the comments below how you felt after going through these two different rounds of tapping. Um, as we did here, we enhanced it with some essential oils, but you don't need to do that. It's a beautiful way to you know, um, up level the experience, but you don't need to have the oils to do it. So just if you come across this video, just start tapping <laughs> wherever you are right then and there. Um, I think I was, I would say I was like at an eight when we started. Um, I, I was at a 10 when I woke up this morning and you first text me, <laughs> um, but I had a great morning of, um, of clients and coaching calls. And so I was like in my happy place working with people. And so that brought it down a little bit, but I started uh, at an eight when we started and it went down to uh you know, two notches. And I think it went down another notch or two after this, this second round with the piece. So in awesome. a very short round, you know, short time, I went, Ooh, came, came right down. Uh, I see Wayne's mentioning that he came uh, down three to four notches and his other oils that we were, you we were specifying were downstairs. So he's using citrus bloom when he did it, which is a great, I'm so glad you shared that Wayne, because it's a great 
way that, you know, you don't have to have it, things perfect to right. take your tools and use them and benefit them. Grab what you have, just tap, right. start tapping wherever you are. Even just this, I find I will do this, uh, yeah. even if I'm driving, you know, of course I'm not going to do a full, like close my eyes and do tapping <laughs> on the road, but just something like this can be a thing to, you know, a little way to kind of bring it down a notch. So I would love to hear from you. And if it's your, it, if it's your first time experiencing tapping, I'd be very curious to your, to hear more about your experience. What did you feel? Ah, so I know for one, I will be uh, using that tool. It's a fabulous tool. And I don't think I use it as consistently as I'd like. I go through phases where I'll have something in particular that I tap on. But to be honest, it kind of has, I haven't pulled it out in a while. And this is the perfect week to do that. So I will be using that in the next days <laughs> for sure. Um, anything else you would like to add, Marion, for someone getting started with tapping or to make it a regular practice and part of their rhythm? Um, you can, you can use it anytime. Yeah. You know, and remember that you can decide, you can choose. So that's a very powerful statement, mm. you know, to choose where you want to go to yeah, and not be controlled because we have control over that emotion yeah, where we choose to want to go to, you know, and what I love about it is this is it. This is how you get started. And so I'm so happy to share this. And I hope that everyone uses that. So many things right at literally your fingertips. <laughs> there are tools literally at your fingertips, <laughs> like tapping that you can use. So Marion, thank you so much. I really had not planned a topic um, for today uh, until I reached out to you because I just felt the energy was like really chaotic and I didn't know what would be the, what would be the right um, tool or the right message that we could share um, today. And you hit it out of the park with that. This is what we need right now. So please share the love. And if you're watching this in the Facebook group, invite someone in and have them join this community here to take advantage of these tools and to really feel good in our lives and in our bodies. So thanks for listening today, guys. And this will be uploaded uh, in the next day or so to YouTube. So you can go back there or you can sort to find it or search to find it in this Facebook group if you're with us live right now. But it'll live on YouTube and you can pick that up any time that you need and, and do a refresh. Definitely. Thanks, guys. And thanks, Marion. So, so appreciate you and love working with you and have a beautiful day, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kristen.